most people are unaware about the mysteries of Friday 13th. When people talk about Friday 13th, they reference the 2009 movie, which is basically a horrendous, um, a horrendous representation of the misfortunes that could happen to a group of collegians in a campsite. But we're not talking about the movie, we're talking about the superstitious side of Friday 13th. Now, I've always been bemused and fascinated about superstitions and myth, and these superstitions that include walking under a ladder or breaking a mirror, etc, etc. But there's something quite strange and eerie about Friday 13th. And this is not just about the accurate historical and contemporary reference, about it being quite a bad and unpleasant, unfortunate day for a person. But I have observed quite literally and personally that it is a day stacked with bad locks and ill locks. And these bad locks and ill locks could range from just sitting on a wobbly chair and have it crashing down with you on it, to having a walking walking harmlessly on a pavement and then suddenly you trip and have an embarrassing public fall. So I have basically been taunted by um, Friday 13th and I have kept a, an avis a suspicious eyebrow to avoid these antics. That is basically to catch the mischance before it catches me or at least to evade or at least to evade the most powerful weapon. The most powerful weapon of a mischance is the element of surprise. So I became obsessively cautious and careful about Friday 13th. But I discovered that the more I became careful, the more I was more vulnerable a prey to the menace of Friday 13th. The rational part of me concluded that it was just my brain playing tricks of me. I have grotesquely misrepresented my minor inconveniences and portrayed them as signs and evidence about the Friday 13th being a cost day. So this was my leading theory this was a sane explanation to say the least it was a sane view it was an objective view the perspective of a man of science and logic but this will turn upside down as we get to friday january 13th so after i penned my dreams my hopes my ambitions on into my diary then i was thrilled to see that everything was taking shape that all of a sudden all of my hard work and my effort to suddenly pay out because I was seeing the beats, the drum beats of success. Then suddenly everything came crashing down. I was rejected from all of my goals and then all of my progress was rescinded. How could a person be this unlucky? I thought. I mean, I could have myself, I could actually prefer jamming, jabbing my little toe on a wall as I run carelessly across the house than having my dreams ruined. I mean, this felt cruel, this felt wicked, this felt senile. I mean, how did I do, what did I do to deserve this? But then a famous poet once said that if dreams are the only things that make us stay our lives, and now that I have the devils of this bewitched day has robbed me of my dream, I mean, what could, else could I make of myself? This is basically what I thought. So perhaps now i've given up on the rational view or a scientific or logical and rational view of friday the 13th i'm as superstitious about friday the 13th and i dread every single day that comes as it approaches because friday the 13th is my nemesis and i hate it for that